Yo, welcome to the first episode of Face of the Franchise, a brand new mode in this year's Madden 20. Big thanks to EA Sports for sponsoring this video and flying me out to Orlando and allowing me to capture this video for you guys. Let's jump right into it. I'm going to put it to you simply. I want you to be our starting quarterback. And I'm talking from day one. If you work hard, you focus, and you commit, you're not only going to graduate here with a four-year degree, we're going to win a national championship together. <sighs> All right, right off the bat, it looks like we are about to make our college decision soon. But as you guys see, to start things off, we're in the bathroom and we get to create our player, but check out the creation tools this year. You get to have a skin tone. Well, I mean, we're used to that. But there's a starting head, hairstyles, beard styles. Man, we got a lot to check out. Now you already know the first thing I did was check out all the hairstyles. They got the double lines. They got a bunch of different afros. You guys saw the baby dreads as well. We might have to pick that one, honestly. But this is so important for Madden. This is something that I've been asking for a while, months and months. A creation tool like this. So I decided to go ahead and pick the dreads messy. I like how that looks. We've never seen that in Madden. So I decided to go ahead, pick that. And like I said, there's a bunch of beer styles. They got the Aaron Rodgers mustache. This is honestly too much. Like, when I was recording this video in Orlando, I was just like, yo, I wish I was back at home. I had all the time in the world to really focus on creating my player because I could spend 30 to an hour with this creation. As you guys see, you could pick the jaw shape. And then for each, like, head feature, like, for example, the nose, the eyes, the ears, you could actually like play around with the width, the vertical position. Like I said, we've never had this creation tool. And this isn't just for QB1. This isn't just for face of the franchise. This is also available for like the regular franchise mode with a player. This creation tool. So that's definitely like a huge positive. As you guys see me picking my ear shape, we're gonna go with the free low because that's how that's how mine looks in real life. Eyebrow style, like I said, man. Like, you could really sit there and spend hours on creating a player. All right, we're good to go. Let's go ahead, accept, and continue, and let's see what happens with the story. So before we get anything started, we get to select a voice for our player. Look, guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without them, this opportunity wouldn't be possible. I want to take a moment to thank all the coaches who helped me along the way. It's because of them that I have the opportunity. I want to thank everyone for showing up today. It's because of all you guys that, I mean. Look guys, I just want to thank my teammates, especially my O-line. Uh, without them, this stuff. All right, we're going with voice number hey, one. don't forget to thank your mom. Never forget to thank your mom. Mike, tell me where you're going to be signing. Actually, it's why I'm hiding in here. Well, I know you'll make the right choice. And if you need any advice, I'm always here. Okay, cool. Uh, thanks, man. Yeah, anytime. Actually, I've been meaning to run into you. Hello? Hello? Who's it going to be? Okay, okay. The big moment is here. We get to select a college to attend. Now here's all the schools that are available for you to go to. There's Clemson, Florida, Florida State, LSU, University of Miami, Oklahoma, Oregon, a lot of big teams, Texas, and Texas Tech. Last but not least, USC. So that's about like 10 teams for you to choose from. I decided to go ahead and attend Florida State University. With this 
team star starting quarterback out, they're turning to a kid who's never taken a snap in college. Not one. Look, their game plan isn't complicated. Drop back, scan the field, and throw it to Isaiah Street. That's what got them to the college football playoff, and that's what's going to keep them in this game. Drop back, scan, and throw. We're not sure the new kid can do any of these things. Don't you think that's a little harsh, Snake? Four years ago, he was a five-star recruit. They had high hopes for this dude. Uh, doesn't that say something right there? What happened to that trust? Coach, you wanted to see me? Come in. I want you to be the first to know that Marcus Washington decommitted last night. And he's coming here. What? That doesn't make any sense. You said I was going to be the starter. He's the number one recruit in the country, son. And there's no guarantees in college football. I'm sorry. I'm not going anywhere. Bring him in. I'll win the job. Just wait. If you're the coach, how do you let five-star talent waste away on the bench for this long? No, no, no. Better question is if you're a young five-star recruit, why do you stay with a coach that doesn't play you? Because he's got something to prove. But to who? To that coaching staff, man. I mean, the same group of guys who spent the last four years telling him you're not good enough, he's got to prove it to those guys. All right, gentlemen, like Coach and I always say, the second you step off this bus, you're on a business trip. We got a lot of work to do, so let's get to it. me, you're the guy to get it done. Hey, Jojo. <laughs> Who's we? I did. Yes. <laughs> Glad you noticed. Hey, boy. Game day, baby. Game day. Get in there. Whoa, hey. whoa, whoa, whoa. The event staff is around the corner, you see. Mm -hmm. Hey, babe, go on in there. Uh-huh. Uh, this is for players and coaches only. Dang, why does she have to do us dirty like that? So, before we jump into the college football playoffs, we get to select an opponent. Now, since I'm attending Florida State, I was like, you know what? It'll be fitting to play against Florida. So, that is the team that I decided to go up against. I'm here to play Florida. What? The Gators, yeah. You? Okay. What's your name? Now, next, guys, it makes you obviously select your first name and last name. We did create our player, but it never asked us for our first name and last name. That's me. That's you? Yeah. Well, I don't know who you are, but uh, go ahead. I'm the quarterback. What? Yeah. Mm. Uh, excuse me. You're the quarterback, right? Yeah. Well, don't look so surprised. Uh, it's my job to know the roster. I'm Taylor Bennett. I'm working the sidelines tonight. Okay, cool. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Okay. Okay, I'm just going to record them. Okay. All right. So we all know your situation tonight, but we really don't know much about you as a quarterback. How would you describe your style of play? Man, you already know your boy uh Oh. is a um, scrambler. Well, I... Oh, man. Hey, what's up, man? I like to keep the defense guessing. You know, if there's a lane, I'll find it and go. Okay. Now, how about your personality? Or better yet, how would your teammates describe you? How would my teammates describe me? Yeah, were you intense, you were cutthroat, uh, a great leader, a jokester? Give me something. You know what, I'm kind of a film junkie. I like to lead by example in that way, so... <laughs> People would joke that I was like a mini-me of the coach. <laughs> okay. Yo, Taylor. Hey. Can I borrow him for a second? Oh, yeah. Cool. Wait, hold up. You're a Heisman voter, right? Hey, I'm coming for that award next year. Look out for me. Oh, I will. Okay. <laughs> All right, listen. You ready, right? Yeah, man. Yeah? Because winning the national championship means everything to me. 
All right, I made a promise to my brother. And since I can't throw the ball to myself, we need to be on the same page, you feel me? I got you, man. I got you. So before the college playoffs, they got us out here, you know, practicing with one of our teammates, Isaiah Streets. Now, obviously, other than me, he seems to be the best offensive player on the team. So we got to make sure our chemistry is on point because we got a big game ahead. If we win the next game, we are officially headed to the college championship game. Easiest pitch and catch. And you do that tonight, and we move on. All right, I just talked to Coach. He insists on going with a simplified game plan for you tonight. What do you think? Well, his thinking is we keep it simple, you don't get overwhelmed, and then we rely on the defense to do their part. Wait, hold on. This, this is a joke? All right, look, Coach just wants to put him in the best position to succeed. No, this ain't high school ball, man. All right, this is the semifinals. If we go out there and simplify, they're going to destroy us. Come on, this is crazy, right? Right? Agreed. Coach needs to wake up. I'm ready for this. Man, forget about him, man. Listen, I don't care how much you played. You're a leader on this team. Leaders, sometimes they have to do what's right, even if they don't like it. Got it, Coach. I got you. Yeah? <laughs> Outside a surprise snowstorm in North Texas with temps in the 20s, but that has not dampened the spirits of the folks inside of AT&T Stadium here in Arlington as we get set for the first of our college football playoff semifinal matchups. As we'll see the Florida Gators taking on their in-state rivals, the Florida State Seminoles. What's up, bro? Good luck tonight. Uh, thanks. Hey, man, don't listen to the critics. You got all the talent in the world. Just go out there and put on a show. Thanks. It means a lot. All right, man. Hit me up when you get to the league. Yeah. Well, we are officially in our first game of this QB1 face of the franchise, and it is the college playoffs. Now it's set to take off Florida. Here's the official kickoff. And guys, I just want to say if you have been enjoying episode number one so far, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Give this video a thumbs up. Let's try to reach 5,000 likes. And I'm going to start cranking out these videos for you guys. Now you guys know... We are the quarterback of Florida State, but with these college games, you're playing six-minute quarters, and you get to control not only the offense, but also the defense. Now, Florida's first offensive possession, they settled with a field goal. So now, here's my debut. You guys get to see me for the first time going to Isaiah, and I'm pretty sure... This is set on arcade difficulty because I can just tell the way he broke off some of those tackles. Look at this again, another broken tackle. It has a huge effect on these wide receivers. The good thing though, when you've got a guy like Isaiah Now just a little side note, you can't actually select the difficulty at this part of the story mode. When you get to the NFL, you will be able to. But as you're playing these college games, you can't actually change the playing style or select the difficulty as you see right here on a play action another beautiful throw to streets who stays in bounds breaks like three tackles what is going on second and 26 after taking a sack oh my god look at that pass yo i'm not gonna lie playing on arcade is actually pretty fun now look, there is a commentary going on in the background, so for the next few plays, I'm actually going to let you guys just, you know, listen to it and get a vibe of how these college games feel like, the atmosphere and all that. 
And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked off here, the 32. The 20. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will have a touchdown. Now, I don't know who all is to blame there, but I love seeing pick sixes. Nothing like seeing someone pluck it out of the air and go the other way and see people try to change directions. Hard to do. Extra point safely through, and that pushes the lead up to 11. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six, and now the kick is away. This is taken just shy of the 10 here. And a nice return sets him up pretty good here at the 30-yard line. Ten used to move. Here's Reddick. And he will find his man on the end route. Complete. First and ten. Inside the red zone here. They'll look to throw. Well, that's a drive killer right there. You guys see, after another turnover by Florida, they brought the pressure here, and I took too much time in the pocket. Just like that, at the halftime, it's 14 to 5. Okay. Let's check in with you. What do you feel about the first half? <laughs> That's how we play. Let's go. Be a great first half. We keep doing what we're doing, we might win this thing. A lot of wheeze in that sentence. It's a good thing to recognize your teammates, but you remember you're leading the charge tonight, all right? So get out there and let's put this thing away. Second half. Let's go. Coach, really good job out there in the first half. I, uh, I should have trusted you more. Yes, you should have, sir. You. That's why I'm about to defend myself and roast you. I wish you could roast. That's right. You should have trusted me. That's why you recruited me. Well, I can't change the past. So, let's go finish this thing off in the second half. As a team. Thanks, Coach. All right, guys, we're jumping into the second half. Obviously, this game is going to be a breeze if we continue the way we left off. Coming out here with the first possession at the 40-yard line. A wide-open man, and of course, it streets, breaks two tackles, breaks the third. Look at these juke moves. I'm getting too excited. I got to simmer down a bit. Throwing this one up. Streets with a big boy catch. Let's see what Florida's about to do so far today. I mean, other than that, first big catch they had in their first possession. Nothing has been happening, but okay. That was a nice little throw right there at the four-yard line. They punched this one in for their first touchdown of the day. So just like that, hey, this game is not over. We got to come out here and put the finishing touches to this game. Let's hand the ball off to our running back. Look at this guy. Look at this guy. Are you kidding me? Do you see what I'm seeing? Hey, maybe instead of playing on Sip, I should start playing on Arcade. I'm just kidding. But look at Streets. Yo, that man Isaiah Streets is a cheat code. Guess what? We go right back to him on that fake. The defense thought I was going to hand the ball off, but we pass it to Isaiah. And just like that, the score now is 27 to 12. We could have had a pick right there, but it's all good. Florida is all the way at the six. Let's see what type of a play they're going to run here. And I pick it off. Let's go. That is the finishing touch to this game. 
Man, we almost got brought down for a safety right there. So I decided with a minute left, let's run the ball. This game is over. We don't need to score anymore. Psych! I came out here in a play action. I probably had Isaiah wide open, but I decided to play make a running back down the field. Look at the amount of broken tackles. The big boy takes us all the way to the four. And moments later, I was like, you know what? Let's give Isaiah one more. You guys see the final play of the day. And this game is officially over. We ended up winning 34 to 12. And just like that, we are officially headed to the college championship game. Four touchdown passes in the first college start for their senior quarterback. The Florida State Seminoles are moving on to play for a national championship on Monday, January 7th.